Okay, so as you can see, I've uh, appreciated the entire kit as I, I imagined before I'm going to begin painting. Now, instead of me using um, the gun gun marker, the real touch markers like I did on the um, Gamela ships, Instead, I decided to use something different. I decided to use the Paneline Accent Color to for appreciate. I don't know what impulsed me to do this, but I said, let me try this out and see how it works. And there's certain parts that will need to be maxed off for me to paint it separately. Uh, mainly, you know, remember the blue parts for this and this here to distinguish the different tone. Uh, I, have to paint, I have to pop that out on the top for it to be painted red. This will be... Um, Titan Blue 1 color, and also the guns, even though it's going to be painted the same color, I have to mask off this and then paint the white areas. I believe the, the remaining guns needs to be painted white. Uh, I don't have a manual with me uh, uh, in arm's reach for me to review that, but we'll, we'll walk it through and see how it is. So. I already have uh, the paint ready, so let me just give it a blast. And as I mentioned before, this will be grayish blue. So this may be the same color that I just painted a few moments ago. So we'll just redo it again to cover up the, the cliche. Oh, we're just doing light passes here. Now, like I mentioned before, I spray painted this using the uh, tester's uh, primer, which, in reality, not the best primer to use on model kits like this. But what I did was um, I spent time sanding it down, um, reviewing each part, and make sure I can, you know, clean it up a bit. And hopefully, this will work. this paint is going to be nice but it's also going to cover up all the work that I've done so far okay looks nice There's some light passes here. I think my filter needs to be replaced again. Oh, I'd like to take the time to say thank you to everybody on YouTube and Facebook for your uh, birthday wishes. Birthday wishes that you guys sent me. I uh, I feel very humble of all that that you guys sent, and thank you very much. Um, yeah, five zero. Go figure. I think what I just did was okay, but I should have foresaw that. Alright, so let me finish this up and then let it dry. And then, oh, I just might as well do this, I forgot. Yeah, 
Rayon black is a perfect paint to cover up everything. Because it, gray is a, is a primer on its own. So, yeah. Wasn't a good idea to do that. It's, it's going to be... I might as well paint the whole thing and get that over with. So, let me just finish it up and then let me mask it off so we can uh, paint the other color and see how that works. Alright, so we're down to final stretch here and that is of course the masking of all these parts which took me a bit of time to do. So, also a fun time to do it. Masked off the entire section here, as you can see. Also the bottom part here, which is part of the front trim. Didn't see anything back here based on, on design. Of course, I did mask off this part, plus it's going to be the red part here. And then this part here, which it's more of a pre-shading look to it, or more like panel um, um, line art. But I think I'm going to spray it the same color that I'm doing here as well. Who says that it has to be exact? It could be a little bit off here and there. I've also masked off this area here. I'll lift it up so that way I can spray this entire deck. I may end up not doing that and just removing the whole piece off because it is a bit of a chart to do that. Well, actually, it was a bit of a chart to do the masking. But if I remove the entire section and just mask off the section part here, I can paint off the entire deck like that. Same holds true with this part here. Um, I'm going to probably... Right now I'm going to have to paint this entire section, the blue part. Then, once it dries, paint this section off here. Some parts I removed because of the detail, like, like, um, well, this is supposed to be blue, but there's a little notch there, so I'm going to get the masking tape and cover that section here, so I can leave that little notch there. This part is already set up like that for this. The conning tower has this section here that's going to be red and I may end up maybe using a paintbrush to paint the inside of these red and then there's the red part here which I did remove and I have the masking tape in there that's covering up the the uh, window I'll probably leave that alone I, there is some detail here and here to do and here to here to do also here I don't know how precise I can do this but I'll try Besides this, of course, we have the this, as you can see. This was a pain to do, but it should be alright. I just Now I just realize this is not a mask. And I need to continue masking because sometimes when you spray, the paint will, will go all over the place. So I'm not going to work on these yet. Let me just do the, the, the dreadnought first to see how it works. And then we'll go from there. So now we're going to be working on the trim parts of the Dreadnought using Titan's Blue 2, which is a much more darker blue. And I forgot to show off the cannons here that I also uh, masked off as well. I'm going to do a small light passes. Nothing too crazy. precision glass you could say but enough to give it that overall effect
that alone, give it a second pass in a few moments. See how this comes out. Bear in mind, I did remove the clear part in there, so it's not a threat being affected by it. Right, let's try to grab this one here. Masking the inside of this was not easy. And I was actually considering of removing, taking the whole thing apart. But, ooh, I see something that I think is going to annoy me. After spraying, just give it a light, you know, air air blast. And then spray a little bit if you can. Alright, that looks good. For now. And like I said before, not everything is going to be painted exactly the same as it used to be. So certain parts we'll get the uh, different treatment so it's a little, you know, a little different. Um, I'm like talking and not having something to hold on to this part that I'm referring to. I'm gonna, oh, here it is. This is the antenna that was on the red part, which I have to paint in a moment. I'm gonna paint this a different color too. Just to be a little off. Doesn't have to be exact, but the same for everything. This is a nice blue. It's a good navy blue. There we go. All right, so let me review. Let me take care of the remaining parts that I have here, and then we'll finish it. Uh, we'll go to the next color on the next kit. Alright, so now it's time to do the two-tone color for the, the Melis warships for the little uh, thing in the front, which I can never figure out what it is, or what it's called. So we'll just call them, I don't know, space vents. So we're going to paint the inside yellow. And, by the way, somebody's going to tell me, why don't I prime it white, and I should have thought of that. But let's see how this yellow works over blue.
that kind of looks nice. Nice and yellowy. I am seeing a little bit of the fade of the blue, but I'm going to give it a second pass in a few moments. And then let's let it dry before we move on to the next color. 